33rd or like 25th. Yeah, that that was definitely a tournament of upsets. Like people yeah. underestimated the East Coast. But either way, we're getting into game one here. Oh. Fox Peach. Uh, I actually am really experienced with this matchup because both of my roommates play either character, and I see it all the time. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much just like. Fox pretty much just wants to, you know, dash around, bait out Peach's walling, and then go in and go in for the kill like that. Yep, exactly. Lots of kill confirms and setups. And the Peach matchup is similar to the Jigglypuff one. Not not entirely similar, but in the fact that Fox's kill moves are vertical, and that's Peach's weakness. She, she's floatier, and she dies at the top. And so that's where Fox can net a lot of his early kills, such as up throw up air and that jab up smash. Yeah. Of course... As you see from Ice, you can wave shine something across the stage. The tennis racket. We're playing Wii Sports right now. Oh, nice spacing on that Ooh, Oh, and he just goes for it! Obi's a madman. Obi's sick. Obi's in fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gets him with the golf club. Oh. All right. Lodge is going to play the corner. Yeah. Messed up uh, Ledge Dash, it looks like. Oh, and Battlefield. <laughs> He got tournament winner and battlefield in the same like five seconds. Ugh. That sucks. What a sad time. It's like uh, getting a phantom rest. All right, nice grab. Yeah, so the big mix-up in neutral <laughs> right here is you could drill, which beats crouch cancel, and then you can run shine, which beats also beats crouch cancel. Yeah. Run grab, but then like if they start doing float canceled aerials, then that's when you go in for the nair. Yep. Or you know you could dash ants around it. Yeah, there's the. Uh I always see foxes try to go for Nair Shine. They'll run up to the beach, they'll Nair, they'll just immediately eat 70%. Yeah. From a you gotta, cancel down smash. You gotta be careful of that crouch cancel. You gotta learn your percents too. It's pretty important. Oh, we trying to set up an edge guard. Try yep. to wrap this up real quick because Lod not only is his DI oh. near impeccable, but he is super good at mixing up his uh, rotations off stage, and he is so difficult to kill once he gets past 100%. Yeah. Oh, he's eating a lot of percent now, but he's still in the lead. It's still his control center. Oh, and a nice fair. Yeah, he did that back air a little early. He just thought Lod was going to come in, but Lod's smart enough to wait. But oh. either way, up tilt's going to kill. That was tricky. Obi needs extra credit right now. Yeah, I always... My, my rule of thumb is, like, get Peach to, like, out of crouch cancel percent, and then you're good. Yep. But, you know, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Oh, he messed Ooh. up the follow-up. Fair is so sick. It's the most underused spacey move. It nets so much. It nets like 30, 30%, I believe, on Falco. I'm not sure how much it does on Fox. But yeah. So interesting mix up. Wow, Obi. Oh, uh, the Nair clips him. And nice shorten. Smash got oddly didn't like put out a jab or anything to try lot? to contest. I said lot. You said Smash got. Did I say Smash Guard? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Lod. I, I definitely meant bring it Lod. To, bring it to last stock. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh Smash Guard. All right, anyway. Oh, nice jab, jab up Smash taking first game. <laughs> god, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> no, dude, every every time I used to commentate um, Plank or Hat, I would say the opposite. Yeah, so, yeah. Because they're both Sheik Maze, you know. Yeah. They look, they're both here every week. Yeah. Both like TOs. But immediately going to Fountain. Fountain, I think, is like a really good stage for Peach. Uh, it's something that I don't see a lot of Peach mains like pick. Yeah. Whenever I think of this stage in particular for this matchup, I think of that absurd four stock that Armada got in Leffen at Beast Five. Yeah. One of my favorite matches ever. And someone also made a video where he's he, uh, he, he's playing uh, jazz drums and he like, oh my god, that town smash. Good recovery by Obi though. Oh, the tournament winner. Fun fact, it does not win you the tournament. It wins the other person the tournament. Nice drill into Nair. And that's called knitting, right? That technique that Lod yeah. does? Yep. Yeah, do you know exactly the the inputs and like mechanics behind it? No. Or? I'm uh, not a Peachman, but I do know that I see my friends screw it up all the time, so clearly it's not easy. Nice up smash, Obi. Not eating too much percent. We're back to even. Ooh. <laughs> and Lod just goes down there for the hard fare. That's something you got to be careful of, like... Remember, they're invincible. They could just do whatever they want for yep. free. Yep, precisely. And Peach can actually goes like surprisingly deep, like deceptively deep. Fox on the other hand, he goes deep as he wants because he has Fox. Ooh. Oh, the blender. 
interesting dash dances. Ooh. Oh, wow. It gets a little charge on there. Takes him out. Obi just seems to be one step ahead. It seems like he's netting more off his punishes. Yeah. That's really what it is. Like, I think Laz playing a good neutral, but, you know, Obi just gets his kills first. Yeah. So. Yeah, because if you're too neutral based, you're never going to get hit. Or, or, or you're never going to get hits. And if you're too punish based, you're probably relying on the opponent to screw up. So, you need to have a good mix of both. And I feel like Obi's doing a really good job of oscillating between, you know, just aggression in your face and then uh, nice, meticulous dash dances mixed with, like, lasers and such. Ooh. Yeah, it goes oh. in for that nair, but a lot of crouch cancels. Oh, but oh, the wave shine, <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. I think Lod did the smash DI where you smash DI towards Fox yeah. rather than away so he that could kills? get behind him. That's crazy. That Fox up smash, man. NTS. Yep. Oh, no punish. Especially it does not eat anything for it. Nice mix up by Obi. <laughs> Lod with some tricky movement, but gets him off stage. Nice snipe. A good sweet spot but from Ovi. Yep. I believe we missed the L cancel on that drill. Alrighty. Let's see what Lot has for us. Nice Nair. And Bitch just coming in. Oh! Oh, oh he tries to catch it, but... Oh, he's living? Nice. Uh, but that this is rough. This is crazy. This might be the moment Lot has been waiting for. Space Animal low percent and just grab him. Nice down smashes. Calling out his approaches. Oh! Yeah, Lon just knows Lod. all the right spots to use uh, down smash. Oh, that was crazy. Lod kept his composure. He got one opening. He got a couple down smashes. Ended off with a slap in the face. We're going to game three. Yeah, it, I saw um, on the edge yard when Lod came back from the uh, left side of the stage. And then he, I think he messed up some kind of aerial or something. And Obi up through, but he charged up smash. And I think he might have done that because he did the up air too fast or yeah. something like that. But, um, yeah, he could have had the momentum. But after he messed that up, La just hit him and hit him and yeah. didn't and, let up. And I know from personal experience, whenever that happens to me, I, I just start fixating on that, you know. And it's really hard to, like, like forgive yourself for, like, like flubbing like that, you know. Yeah, and one thing that a lot of people don't talk about that top players are really good at is, uh, like, reacting to their mistakes. Yeah. Like, if they mess something up, they know the exact thing to do. Like, they're like, okay, I messed up. How can I, you know, secure myself? Like, Yeah. They they can change the next interaction. Plenty of people have habits that they don't find out until, like, maybe, like, weeks later or something. But these people, they can change it immediately. They're so conscious of not only their options and all their opponent's options, and they know exactly what to do. Ooh. Nice shine stall by Obi. Yeah, there's that DI again. Yep. You could get a attack from Lot. Oh, Dragon Ball Z, but Obi. Fox privilege. Yeah. He's good DI. He's living at 124. Yep. Uh, but you can't do that. Not this percent. That's the classic, uh, there's one guy in your dorm who plays Peach, and then everyone thinks they're super good at Smash, and then they don't know to L cancel, and the guy learns that, oh, if you just down Smash his Peach and people try to run towards you, just yeah. take him out. That works for, like, six months until someone figures out how to, how to grab Peach or something. Nice okay. grab. And the tech chases are oh. out. Huh? Ooh, what a nice read on the tech in. Yeah. I think the Nair might have been able to cover the whole platform, but either way, it was still really good. And that was just perfect coverage by Lod. That was like if uh, Drugged Fox played Peach. Yeah. So many meticulous reaction tech chases. So good. Yeah. And the callout. Reminds me of uh, Big House 6, all the manga calls in Omada's uh, Out of Shield game. Up smash. Right. Lod's <laughs> just running straight in there. Double jab into shine. It's confirmed, guys. Yeah, I think double jab on shield isn't safe. But... No, it's absolutely not. <laughs> and this could be it. Oh, no, he gets burned. Oh, he makes it back. Uh, Obi, too scared to grab ledge. This is an intense game right now. Oh, he had to read. He just... Fox was a little too high. Game game three is so important. Because I, I imagine if Lod loses, then we're going to FD afterwards. Oh, oh. fastballs. Oh, uh, yeah. That sucks. 
we get some of the 70, I think an up throw up arrow kill him. Oh no. Puffs the punish. This is the lasers bait him in, but Lodge one step ahead knows that. Just spaces himself out of the counter attack. This is so close right now. Oh! Rotten the raw up special. That'll do it. I think the stage actually screwed Lot over there. And then pushed him up? Yeah, it pushed him yeah. up because he had the jab, and he could have stuffed whatever Obi was going to do, but he whiffed the jab, and then Obi just up smash. Wow. That, that reminds, sucks. That reminds me of a uh, flop on Stadium, where he always gets like gets uh, cheated by the windmill whenever he's about to beat somebody. And, yep, just as I hypothesized, we are going to Fallen Destination, which actually is not even that bad for Fox, but the big thing for Peach is that she has that chain grab, and they can net so much. It's it's arguably better than Marth's chain grab, because you can do it to such high percent. It's, yeah, it is. It's easier, and it's, uh, like, you it's can do more it guaranteed, longer. you know? Yeah. Like, there aren't really any holes in it, unlike Marth's chain grab. Yeah. Like, sometimes you can, like, DI if, you know, if you don't react or... Yeah. You can also shine out at certain percents. Yeah, fun fact, jump. yeah, Marth Chain Grab, if you were at 15%, if you don't DI, you can jump out of it. At exa yeah. like, exactly 15. Oh, and Lot taking that first stock cleanly at 60% or so. Yeah, this stage can be, like, really good for Fox, but he just has to play it so good. Yep. He can't get hit at all. Wait, you, you just can't get grabbed or you die. Especially someone who's a machine like Lot. And he's so accustomed to just brutalizing space animals, especially against Smash God. Also, is a very respectable fox, so he's well-versed in this matchup. The drill. All right, good. Uh, I want to see the drop-down turn up. These these are so well-timed. Yeah. Obi ha had the DI right. You just hold yeah. down and then smash DI down so you can get out of the down air. But, oh, no. And then get another chance to recover. But, oh, my goodness. Oh, and he catches them. The reverse hit, though. Still living, though. Nice grab. Oh. He is not afraid. That was good. Because I think <laughs> me and Obi both thought he was going to aerial, but instead, oh, he nice turns up ahead. Are we going to see a four stock in game four? Obi's like going to look for that one one kill confirm. Jab. Oh. Yep. He just knows. So Lot knows that he's looking for any kill confirm. He could just yep. couch cancel all of them. Obi is hungry right now. Albeit a bit overzealous. And he can't up throw up air at this percent either. So yep. grab isn't really oh, that good. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> An uncharacteristic SD. Some kind what, of what Obi needs to do right now is, I mean, I know ideally he can he can win, but Aww. at the very least he needs to get information for game five. He needs to learn things about why he's losing the interactions in neutral and what he can do to fix it. Because Law just looks so composed right now. Nice up throw up there. All right, yeah, and he just goes for the lasers for the extra percent. He knows he can't be too risky, but yep. <laughs> he just calls out Lod's roll and goes for the up smash. Yep, the game is slowing down a little bit. I think Obi is finding out how to approach his interactions in a different way. I think he was a bit, a bit too aggressive before. Oh, nice. That was sick. And this is actually doable for Obi. And if not, I think he still learned crucial information about game five. Ooh. He makes it back. That's crazy. Yeah. Nice shine stall also. Sometimes Fox just surprises you. You're like... Oh, he can't make it that far. And then he does. And you're like, well, crap. Yep. <laughs> oh, but that's that it. Lod's tag. Oh, it gets a weak there, but... Nice side beat. Oh, <sighs> nice spot dodge. <laughs> Lod trying for some mind games right now. Oh, okay, her. yeah. I believe that's it. Yep. I just realized that uh, Lod's tag is a shout-out to Mom. Another Peach player. His name's Tim. Oh, his name's Tim. Okay. Yep. Shouts to Mom. The uh, won the Arcadian two two Arcadians ago. Yeah, because the uh, reigning reigning Arcadian winner is a uh, Fendi. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yep. They're going to Yoshi's. <laughs> this is exciting. Game five, another game five. The other winning semi set was game five. Yep. But right, here we go. If Obi takes it over Lod, that. I don't know. I, I've never seen him beat Lod before. If this is his first time winning, that might be his biggest win ever. Because Lod is easily top 100. Ooh. I believe Lod's the only one here actually on the MOM top 100 for 2015. Right. So. Yeah, we'll just solid edge guard there. Obi wasn't able to hit any sweet spots, yep. and that just got him punished. And this is this is a completely different Lod that we saw at games one through three, I think. He just looks like he has everything figured out. He seems a lot more calm. Ooh. 
That was a good down tilt, but a sick tech from Mod. Just uh, taking whatever was there and throwing it out the window. Slip recovery by OB. Mod's doing a really good job of just like keeping the pressure on Obi in the corner. Yep. And then he knows when Obi's gonna try to roll out or, you know, dash in. Wow, that grab was super tricky. Let's see if Obi can bring it back. This is this is not looking good for our uh, for our hero, but Ooh, kind of fishing, but that's okay. Oh, wave shine up smash. That's a classic. Yeah. Good stuff to Obi. Only done by a stock. Yeah, dash stack, pitch dash stack on shield isn't safe. So yep. you can pretty much do almost whatever you want. You can confirm the rest of that shield is buff. Yeah. And of course it's Fox. I mean, if you can wave shine out of shield, like, you, you better get on that. Wow, okay. If Ooh. Obi actually cleans it up right now, this will be a practically uh. tied game. Uh -oh. All right, roll. uses the shine to parry. What a cool concept. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a spooky air dodge. However, does not eat anything for it. Maybe it was a crazy mind game. Yeah, one thing that- was that a stitch. That was a stitch. Oh, Lord. One thing that, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, Fox is best character in the game, which I do believe he is, but he does have weaknesses, and one of them yep. is something a lot of people don't notice is that Fox's walling capabilities aren't actually oh, the best. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Blood. That was a smart trade. Yeah. So, like, I see Obi, like, going in, like, Lod's face and kind of just trying to do, like, short hop aerials and short hop back aerials and stuff. Yeah. But I think compared to Peach's walling, it's really not that strong. So he's got to be careful. Yep. Yeah, the thing is that people actually, for the longest time, did not think Fox is the best character. It wasn't really until, like, 2013 or so when there was much more representation at the higher level that Fox was deemed the best. Pre-EVO uh, 2013, most people considered Marth or uh, debatably even, like, Falco or um, or Puff to be the best. There was a period of 2010 when Hungrybox was winning everything and everyone's like, oh, Puff's the best. And then shortly afterwards, people thought Pee -Pee was, thought Fox was the, or Falco was the best. His TV was winning, and this is wow, sick recovery. But my point being is that Fox is not definitively the best because we just don't know. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and he dies. Damn, well, that, that was yeah. a close set. Lod JB doing him. Game five though. If this was our normal best of three Xanadu, then Obi would have beaten Lod. Yeah, he did win game three. Yep. So. Wow, what a set. That was but oh, you that was know. great.